welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Sani, and today we're talking about day 105, Sunday, July 5th. I hope that everybody enjoyed their 4th of July, and here we are back for another awesome day at the gym. So for our warm-up, let's get started with two to four rounds of three reps per side Turkish get-ups. Weighted or unweighted is perfectly fine. Then five per side golf ball pickups. Make sure to do them slow, about five or even possibly more seconds per rep. Then one crab bridge holding at the top in extension of the hip for 10 to 20 seconds five per side side lunge, and five per side bird dogs. From there, we'll move on to our strength work for the day. We have 20 minutes to complete, five sets of five bench press, increasing the load with each set to a heavy set of five, and we'll be supersetting that with five sets of five dumbbell bent over row. Um, also increasing the weight or difficulty with each set if possible, but make sure to keep your form. You do not want to be using your um, hips or any body English to move them. Just a strict full range of motion movement through that bent over row. Um, if you're working from home and you only have a dumbbell or two dumbbells, you'll be doing either dumbbell bench press if you have a bench to be on. Otherwise, you're going to be doing floor presses. Now that's simply when you lay on the back as if you were to lay on a bench. However, the range of motion changes such as you're only bringing your elbows to the floor. Think about when we do our push-ups, right? We kind of get that external rotation on the floor and we keep our elbows in at at least 45 degree angle and then we press. So it's that same motion except now we're laying on our back with the dumbbell straight up towards the ceiling and then we're gonna get our shoulders externally rotated and packed back as we lower our elbows to touch the ground and then we press up. Um, so it's very similar to a bench press except we're only going through a partial range of motion till our elbows touch the ground and press. You'll be supersetting those with five sets of five dumbbell bent over row. If you only have one dumbbell, do five reps per side. Then for our no equipment variation, we'll be doing five sets of eight to 12 chair or ring dips, making them as challenging as you can. Um, superset those with five sets of five single arm ring or towel rows, increasing or adjusting the difficulty each set as needed. From there, we'll move on to our Metcon backhoe. I don't know where that name came from, so don't ask me. <laughs> we have six rounds for time. Our full gym variation is eight double dumbbell hang power cleans. Now you'll notice the weight here is a little bit heavier than what's prescribed for at home because um, we're looking to do with two dumbbells and we typically stick to that 35, 25, 25, 15 for those at home because it seems to be the more common weights um, that typically people have. But if we're in the gym, we have access to some extra dumbbells. So we'll be using either 45, 30 or 30, 20. Of course, adjusting as needed depending upon what you're looking for, what you're able to do. Um, but we'll be doing eight double dumbbell hang power cleans followed by eight dumbbell push press using those same dumbbells. So dip, drive, no actual jump happening here. It's not a jerk, but we want to launch it off our shoulders a little bit with that dip and drive of the hip. And then you're gonna do eight round trip runs, which is basically you're gonna run 20 feet forward and then you're gonna back pedal 20 feet backwards to your starting point. So you're running forwards and then running backwards. Just make sure to keep um, your head kind of turned to the side so that you're able to see um, you know where you're going and that you're not going to hit into anybody for our sum equipment variation we'll be doing single dumbbell hang power cleans but 12 of them instead alternating sides as desired um, for these if you have two dumbbells at home that fit and you want to use them you're welcome to do eight reps if you're doing double um, if it's a super light weight for you i still recommend doing the 12. Um, or if you have a set of two dumbbells that's a little bit heavier for you, maybe do six or seven reps instead. Um, but kind of, you're welcome to message your coach and kind of say like, hey, what do you think I should use for this? Or what do you think what the rep scheme should be? I only have this weight and it's either heavy or light or right in the middle. Um, and we'd be happy to kind of give our advice on that. Then we're gonna go into 12 single dumbbell push presses with the same weight, alternating sides as desired. And then eight round trip runs, 20 feet forward, 20 feet backwards. Um, if you don't have a 20 foot area to use, you can do four compass shuffle jumps. For our no equipment variation, we're gonna be using an odd object today. So going from the hang position to the shoulder. So it's still that hang clean movement, um, using anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds. 
Then with that same object, we're gonna push press it overhead for 12 reps, and then that eight round trip run 20 feet forward, 20 feet backwards, or four compass shuffle jumps. For our coaching notes for today, be sure to use a good hip drive on the push presses. And then for the forward and back one, um, backward runs, excuse me, push the pace and kind of sprint going forward and be more cautious going backward so that you don't trip or smack into anybody. Um, when you transition from backward to forward, avoid that big explosion and stressing out your Achilles because that change of direction is gonna be a little bit tough on your calves. So you wanna make sure that you're cautious with that. Um, if you're using dumbbells, make sure to keep the path close to the body on the cleans and don't let them drift out in front and turn it into sort of like a bicep curl. That's not necessarily what we're looking for. All right, guys, but that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Um, our goal for this workout is anywhere from 10 to 17 minutes, but think you should be hitting right around the two and a half minute mark per round. All right, so if you have any questions, please reach out to your coach and we will see you tomorrow.